Hey guys, and welcome back to Oxygen Online, well including Clay's Amazing Space Colony Simulator Extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy, and we are in the Rock Full of Brains, a collection of asteroids out in the wilds of space. We've got 14 duplicates trying to make their way into the future as comfortably as possible, and to aid that comfort, we've got a big problem over here, or in fact, we've got to solve this big problem to aid the comfort. We've got sulfur, boiling hot, vaporous sulfur, at about the temperature of magma, vaporizing its way up and not making its way up to space like I would hope it would because there is all sorts of problems going on over in this corner. We need to try and get duplicates up there to help out with that but unfortunately Rutherford he's already been up he's been suffering very very deeply from the problems that we have so we need to try and figure out a way of stabilizing this area here before we can move on and indeed we need to do it relatively quickly because this tile this tile is made of sandstone and as I say the sulfur is 50 1500 degrees centigrade at same temperature as the magma the temperature is slowly coming over this way and warming up all the individual items that are not that hot this sedimentary tile will melt under 1500 degrees 902 926. I can read numbers. Yes, indeed. Uh, so I, I need to do something about that. I need to take this bottle emptier down because it's just in our way. I can't make anything out of anything other than obsidian. Obsidian is pretty much the only material I've got that can actually withstand any sort of temperatures uh, like we are seeing right here. So if I go and make an obsidian tile as well, I know from experience that duplicates can squeeze through a gap like this as long as you give them somewhere to stand up and down. Uh, and hopefully Hopefully now we should be seeing Boar or is Rutherford coming along? At this point I don't mind who is coming along, if Rutherford is coming along. Even though he is damaged and even though we have some prestigious heats here, the atmospheric suit protects him from most of those dangers. So hopefully he can just go on ahead. Uh, we've got to wait for a day now. Okay, well, for an evening. I'm actually willing to accept this because... It's, they, need, they need to sleep. They've been, go they've been going through so much recently. So, so very much. Thankfully, because we have some liquids running in the background here, liquids that cool get cooled down by this unit right here, we have hot liquids coming in one side and cold liquids coming out the other, we're able to keep back this gas. Uh, as it comes down here, it, uh, it exchanges heat with all the materials around it, including the liquid line that we have down here. Condenses from the gas to the liquid, and then further still condenses to some solid sulfur that we have back here. Uh, that will hopefully keep us safe for most of the time. Uh, and I really need to figure out how we're going to get people up and out this way to be able to start digging some extra vents in the uh, in the roof here. So we can start letting all of the liquids out to the, out to the vacuum of space. Uh, but whilst we wait for Rutherford to, uh, to heal up and then he can go and face all these troubles, let's go over to Pyaxlin because we have another little problem kicking off over here is a problem of heat. Uh, you can see that duplicates come up and they, they get scolded by what is actually turning out to be these molten lavas that we have over here. Their, their body temperature is, if we have a look somewhere, well they currently are 112 degrees. They come out about 160, something like that. So I think what I want to do is go around and build an insulated box for them. I, I think it's time that we just gave them their own place to live out their lives and do what they need to do uh, and then all also, we need to uh, be able to extract a few things from there. So I'm going to get down a steel conveyor loader this way around. Why won't it let me put it this way around? Is it the polymer press? Do I need to take the polymer press down? I'll take the polymer press down. It's kind of been broken for a little while now. Uh, shipping. Uh, we wanted the conveyor loader made of steel. Is that right? Yeah, there we go. Okay, that's that's much better. I want to have it that way around. And then we want to have an auto sweeper next to that. Franklin will be along very, very shortly to make that happen. Curie not actually having any problems at the moment. I was expecting her to be taking a lot of of heat damage dealing with this uh, but but no I okay so wh where is all the heat coming from okay now Curie's taking some heat damage okay that makes sense that makes sense we have been boxing everything in here 
Uh, I wonder if actually that's going to have any unintended consequences. Most, mostly the things that I try to do have horrific unintended consequences. So we'll see what's going on with that. In this conveyor loader, I would like to get... Uh, let's come down to the... Uh, the is it organic? We've got some eggshell. And where is the edibles? There we go. I'd like to get the meat out of there as well. I also feel like we're going to need to uh, extract some of the, the normal lava, uh, some of the normal slicksters to keep this section turning over. But I'm wondering whether we can do it just with a with a solid filter here and we just filter for the, the, the lava eggs and just drop them here or something like that. I, th I think that might work out better but we'll, we'll see what goes on with that leave curie to do all of this how are you doing rutherford very nearly done very nearly done we'll be, we'll be back in a few more hours we'll be back in a few more hours uh, as you can see some of these wires are being made out of depleted uranium i uh, let's try and irradiate these bugs Let, let's see if maybe we can actually kill stuff no no turns out that they are completely safe I suppose that's okay. And so the eggshells are being picked up. They're being dropped over on this block over here for the duplicates to come and deal with. Uh, and also any meat, yes, that, that gets dropped also gets picked up like so. I'm not sure how we're going to go about uh, boxing these guys in properly. I suppose we're just going to drop some, some, some gravel insulated tiles like that. I was wondering about a door, but actually I don't, I don't think we really need to get in here, do we? Okay, super interesting. I put down the orders for these uh, tiles to be made, and uh, none of the the slicksters want to want to go up there anymore. Sorry, I just night times get gone called. I want I want to I want to I want to finish this off tonight if at all possible, so we can just wrap this one up really nicely. I've got a feeling we're going to end up melting this uh, this water right here. Not melting. Uh, vaporizing that water right there but that that should be fine that should be fine starvation curie i i think not uh, why is it always the toilets is this a bug is this something that i should be reporting we always seem to whenever get we are called about starvation it's because someone is on the toilet which uh, i don't know i like i feel hungry on the toilet but i'm never like oh i am dying here because i cannot get food yeah i i, I don't know all right, and now, now we have a box where the slicks just, just live their own lives. We dump out all the eggshell and the meat on the side over here. We should be able to extract uh, some of the uh, the multi of the normal slicksters. Sorry, uh, over on Reverselin, Rutherford, a powerhouse of healing right now. He is doing everything he can to make sure that he can get back to work. I'm wondering how long this is. Is there a way to actually see some physical numbers? Well, it's too late anyway because the time is now. Rutherford immediately jumping to his feet and going straight into the most dangerous job we have available to us right now. That's right, we are going to go and build a ladder. <laughs> Doesn't sound all that terrifying, but uh, trust me, it's it's a real problem right now. It's a real problem. Oh, look, the uh, the thing melted. The, um, the, the, the tile melted. I probably should have actually taken it out by hand rather than letting that happen. Oh, well, we're going to build an obsidian tile up there anyway. I do hope i do hope yeah we'll, we'll, we'll see we'll see how that goes uh rutherford doing doing the business but when's he gonna he's sopping wet does that mean that there's any like heat conduction problems i don't know i don't know if that's a problem i think it's just because he has to walk through this area which i would go ahead and mop up it's it's a real easy area to clean up but it's just a, yet another layer of protection to keep everything safe to keep the base safe because oh man th this is working overtime right now just trying trying to keep the area protected i'm wondering whether the liquids could be just kind of pulled up here a little bit but we'll 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 think on that i think once this tile gets built we'll have a nice little one tile constriction and we should start to see this sulfur empty out hopefully okay rutherford's managed to seal us in i was seeing um I was seeing liquid sulfur condensing off the materials that he put in here. Unfortunately, that is not the case. Where are you going, Rutherford? Where are you going? To dig? Can you make it? Can you do it? Is is that safe? You're scolding, but that's that's all right. As long as we can get up and past all this lot before we're halfway down, I think that's that should be fine, right? Are you, are you still scolding? Are we are we losing? If I just put my mouse right here, I don't think we're losing any uh, any health right now. So that should be fine, right? That that should be. It's going to be a shame to lose out on a bunch of all this sulfur to just let it 
vaporize in the vacuum. But uh, I, I think it would be much better if we have a controlled way of tapping this gold liquid sulfur geyser. You just know that when I set everything up, it's going to turn dormant, right? Like, that's, that, that's going to be a thing, yeah. <laughs> Okay, let's watch the gas flow as we take out these last few tiles here. Good work, rather, for doing the business. He's going to start getting warm. I didn't think about the side effect of that, but that should be fine. And there, there we go. We, we've got sulfur leaking out into the vacuum of space here. The, the oxygen wants to have a piece of the action, but it's going to have to wait. Okay, do, doing well for the moment. I think I'd like to get rid of that. I, th I think that's not necessary. Uh, perhaps we'll even put down some extra ladders for when... I'd like to put one here, obviously, uh, but you know, we'll, we'll just wait and see. Are you still scolding Rutherford? But I think we're good. I think we've got a handle on this. It's not a great handle, but the handle is there. I think Rutherford's body condensed this igneous rock. Okay, that, that's good Good work. Con conducting heat. It's, it happens to everything. Our boar's on his way to mop. I'm not sure I want you to do that. I'm gonna... It would, it would allow clear passage, but I think we're good. I think we're good. Maybe if he came up to to do this maybe maybe i don't i don't even know like can we, can we mop lava is that a thing mop, mop, mop magma mop magma I'd, li I'd like to know i'd really like to know where are you going with the petroleum uh, by the way or I, I don't know where you're gonna put oh now this is gonna be a bit of a problem isn't it at some point it's gonna gonna just like flush all the way over yeah that's that's gonna be a real problem anyway i saw that boar was having troubles Let, let's let's assign him to the bed uh let him do his thing Oh look, the gas remelted the magma. Okay, that's that's interesting. Very interesting. But whilst we watch my gaseous mistake escape out into the wilds of the vacuum, I would like to take this moment right here and thank the people I think are responsible for the diffusion of elements in the universe. That's right, my patrons. Scrolling up the screen right now, you will see a list of names, a list of names of the guys and girls that have gone along to patreon.com forward slash twitchy and made a monthly monetary donation to make sure that me and my channel can continue on into the future. This one actually turned out to be quite the time investment, and without your guys' backings, I really could not justify this, so thank you. From the very bottom of my very mistaken heart, thank you so much. So it is working, but it's taking just a little bit longer than I would like. This tile here is the tile with the... Ooh, no, these ones had the highest... This had the highest pressure that I could find. Started off at 6.1. We're now at 5.9. That was just over the nighttime cycle there, though. Um, whilst we were watching the gases flow out, the, the Rutherford came along and started trying to dig stuff out, ended up falling unconscious down... Uh, it was actually down here, which means that he could get transported over to the bed fairly easy, but no nobody's doing anything on on this asteroid right now that's kind of okay we got we've got the food to to see us through but uh yeah interesting state of affairs we find ourselves in i guess we're gonna go have a look and see oh we're going full speed it's, it's hard to tell what speed you're at when everybody's sleeping everything seems to be working out okay over here I, uh, the meat is still just kind of hanging around okay it's all being picked up by franklin right now that's much better actually much much better all of it being turned into barbecue by maxwell we've got a, like a lot of food here this, this is the one place that i never really have to worry about anything Thing. other than scolding it turns out the majority of the heat coming from down here somehow so uh, what i think i'm going to do and i, I was fairly sure i'd done this but maybe we had a, a problem and i had to roll stuff back or something and we're going to just take a cooling line all the way down here and we're going to bring it all the way back over this way uh we'll take a couple of bridges we'll just drop that this way and over here uh we'll just drop this as a regular regular cooling line uh, and somehow we'll have to figure out how to get more liquids into this line i'm sure we can just drop uh, a uh, pump across from the water over here this is quite warm water but that that should be fine uh, so let, let, let's 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 figure out a place to do it here. We, we've done it here before. We've split this pipe. Uh, we've we've put a little bit over that way. So we shall do that again when all of this gets made. And I should imagine Curie and Franklin are almost immediately on it. Here's Curie. Uh, we're gonna get some complaints uh, that it's hot over here because you know what? It it is hot. It's it's quite warm down here. So uh, we'll, we'll just have to accept that that's gonna happen. Did I just bullseye on that that long-haired slickster? That was a good one. 
work. We'll set them free. I do like the long-haired slicksters. Maybe we could just like because they give a decor bonus. What is it? F8. They they give a little decor bonus when they're they're floating around. So plus 50. Look at that. It might might even be worth just like getting a few out of here. Like select down the critter. Where where are you, critter egg? The long-haired slicksters. Let, let's pull a couple of those out and then maybe we can move them around with the magic of the uh, critter move, whatever this thing is, the critter gr drop-off. There's a lot of picking up, not much of dropping off going on. It looks like somehow enough of the, the slicksters are ha surviving long enough to have babies in there. That's very unusual. All right, we're, we're just going to turn that off now because we've got a lot of them. I don't know what we're going to do with them. We're just going to spread them around the base. But let, let's get back and uh, what? Oh, Rutherford got out of bed. He seems fine. Oh, no, no. This one's Rutherford. Boar got out of bed. He seems fine. Where is he? There, there you are. Hello. What are you, what are you doing? You're moving the petroleum. Uh, okay. <laughs> Pressure update, 3.7 kilos. Wow, wow, that's like half of it gone. But what, why Why is the pressure so high up here, but so low down here? Hopefully the magma's trying to push back. I don't know, I don't. I have no idea why that would be like that, actually. That's uh, an interesting, because like, this is smaller distance than, than that. I, I don't know, I don't know. It's now gone up to four. Is there some sort of like acoustic oscillation set up through here? Could be, could be. We don't we don't really have the detail we need to be able to figure out stuff like that. It'd be nice if there was like darker when there was more stuff. Uh, you, you know, that, that, that could work. That could work. For those of you wondering about Irigao, the place we've been trying to take over for the past couple of episodes, everyone's doing full well. They're just going around picking up all of the uh, We've got chlorine everywhere. Maybe I, maybe I do need to address this. But we're going around and picking up all of the sweep orders that are going on. This needs emptying and no one's got on it. Why, why is that? Let's turn that all the way up uh, and then some, someone should get on it. I feel like that's the only thing that's been holding us back. We'll, we'll find out. We've used a lot of water. We'll find out in a bit. Blagolia, as I say, absolute powerhouse of an asteroid here. It's got its power ticking over and it's got a gold... Cobalt and aluminium taking over. The only thing we're not doing here that we really should be doing is making a whole bunch of rad bolts. Why have these two melted? Okay, that's that's a thing. We'll come back. We'll figure this out. But um, we, we got we got we got big problems right now. It has been many, many cycles, and I have been waiting around, mostly waiting for duplicates to uh, to stop dying. But as Bor has brought our attention to, we have a serious, serious issue right now. I've got a whole bunch of materials over here, most of it made out of iron and copper, but this one is made out of steel, and it's taking overheating damage. We are definitely having ourselves a bit of a bad time right now, so I'm going to just hit the go button over there. I think we need to uh, just seal this little area off and let the uh, the natural forces move all of this out. I was considering trying to move all the pipe up and try and condense everything, but actually right now I have just noticed that actually the uh, the water, the temperature of the water in the cooling loop has just been going up and up and up. I thought we were making a valiant effort to... What are you doing, Bor? You're, you're not going to try and make that from that side of the ladder are you oh my gosh no let's not let's not do that do you see what's trying to happen there he was trying to b build himself into he's going to do it again is there a way to okay so now that he's actually building rather than delivering let's move him down here and then hopefully he can go again okay you really do have to manage your duplicates like i was saying i was thinking about moving the uh the, the cooling loop up and uh, trying to condense as much of this as possible. But of course, once I start dropping liquid sulfur onto the magma and picking it back up, all I'm doing is cooling the magma down. And that just doesn't seem like a job that all of this was built for. To be fair, this was not a job that all of this was built for. And uh, it shows. It failed. It failed hard. Talking of failing hard, I figured out what one of the uh, the major sources of scolding is over here on Pi Axlin. Uh, if I press F6, uh, that's bore. Okay, that's fine. Uh, you can see that we've got liquid coming down to touch uh, in fact even I oh know I broke the pipe I remember breaking the pipe specifically because I had noticed this uh, we, we we have this little bit of a situation here where the the liquids are coming up and touching the water in the pipe and the liquids here the crude oil is uh, 140 degrees uh, because some of it gets dropped in here doesn't get converted it travels its way down and then gets picked up it's, it's, it's a horrible time but uh, this has also caused steam to end up being trapped in the system up the top here 
here. I've had to stop the duplicates going through because they kept on trying to fix this. Uh, and, and whilst, yes, we do need that to happen, whilst they were doing that, they were letting all the steam back through every time. And the steam was the issue. The steam keeps escaping out of the pipes uh, right on top of duplicates. And that that's why they keep being hurt. I have, however, gone around and extended the cooling loop somewhat. And hopefully everywhere that duplicates need to travel now has direct cooling. Uh, these are now both working almost full time. I'm not sure what got damaged there. And I'm a little bit worried about it. But, you know, we'll, we'll figure this out. Above 50. No, above 24. Yeah, no, this should be... Oh, I just I just changed it. So instead of going 15, let's go 16. If above 16, let's just make sure that it wasn't the, the liquid skin. Look, it broke again. Whatever it is, it broke. It is the pipe. It's the pipe. How, how are we breaking the pipe? Coming out at 10 degrees. Well, that's going to be fun to try and break in there at some point. But now we're just going to kind of condense all the sulfur that we have up here. Try and reassert our liquid lock and... Um, Wait for this to all just drain out. We're at 600 now, so so that's doing well. Down here, we're at about 800. Uh, is it because we're up high over here? No. Okay, so that's fine. We're not just building up oscillations in the in the fluid here, so that that should be fine. Who's getting scalded now? Boar is getting scalded. I suppose yes. Yeah, we're going to wait and see what happens to these liquids. They they definitely need to get cooled down. I mean, they're coming through at 90. Uh, things are going to be hot up here as well. Yeah, 94. So hopefully all of this will will settle down by the time... Bo oh, I was going to say by the time Boar has made it out of the uh, out of the hospital, but it looks like he's already gone. You know what, Boar, Boar get, get yourself back in there. Yeah, hopefully all of this will be fixed by the time Boar is fixed. Okay, the cooling system has got it handled back on what's going on around here. That's good. I'm a little bit worried that the liquid sulfur is going to condense at some point. Let's have a look here and see what temperature that will happen at 115 we're currently at 170 we are on our way down though everything around here is 40 so i think what i'm going to do is get my bottle emptier set back up uh mop up some of the petroleum that just seems to have been spilled everywhere pop it down and try and push out the uh, the liquid sulfur into this area and let's see if we can't flash condense it the gas is over here i mean we've got 500 or so over oh 470 that's pretty good over in the most extreme regions uh, wh when is this going to start encroaching back I, I literally have no idea we seem to be holding steady at around a hundred maybe like the 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 mid uh, double figures out in the uh, the actual vacuum at some point that is going to start pushing its way back into here and I think once we get past these first little uh, constricted areas it's going to spread like wildfire so one thing that I have been noticing whilst watching this is the tiles, just a few a few tiles back, two or three tiles back from the exit, have been staying relatively consistent, about 150 grams. It, it goes up to 200 sometimes, it comes down to 100 sometimes, but it's around about 150. And I'm wondering what's going to happen when these more extreme areas also settle out to 150. Like this, this number is pretty much just going down all of the time. So what happens? when we hit that number is that is that then when we actually start to lose a little bit of the pressure at the doorway it might be it might be <laughs> what 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 happened suddenly oh suddenly all my sulfur's disappeared and we've just got sour gas building up i'm not even sure where the sour gas is coming from is it all emptying out of here or something this oh, it's going up it's, it's just going up and i why <laughs> Man, the, the sulfur I had a plan with how to deal with. I can't get this down to condense the sour. I guess I guess it's also gonna have to go out the door when we've replaced the petroleum. How hot? How hot is it? How hot is it? It's very hot because the tiles up here are also very hot. Hmm. Yeah, I actually have no idea where that came from. But only three grams a tile. That's not uh, not gonna be impossible to deal with. So we're getting down to the hundreds and fifties, like I say, down here, and uh, the the. The doorway has actually started losing pressure. Okay, we're we're down to just hundreds down uh, at the at the back of the doorway. Okay, that's that's interesting. That's very very interesting. There's more sour gas. There's like eight eight grams of it now. How is it is it coming from something down here? I don't I don't know. It shouldn't be. There's nothing hot enough. I uh, what? <laughs> 
don't know if it means anything to say that we've entered into some sort of steady state here where it used to be that we had a real raggedy edge over these uh, these entrances as the pressure was pushing all the gas out now we're down to just just a hundred grams even in our deepest crevice uh, and it's 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 really just kind of settled down into this pattern we've we've got this and then the, there's I mean it's constantly going up and down it's it's not like it's actually stagnated. Oh, what's what what's this uh, plank? Okay, we'll, we'll we'll go check on plank in a, in a second. Yeah, it's not it's not like it's turned bad. It, we've just we've just gone into this steady state, waiting for all the gas to be pumped out. Got to say, these little blobs of oxygen have been endless entertainment watching them travel around. I'm waiting for this one to just leave. I was kind of expecting it to a couple of times, or at least like come up here and get stuck in this little crevice here. Oh, all right, all right, Franklin as well. Why? Why is it here? I, I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe because of this. I have asked for this to be mopped up a couple of times now, so I'm not sure why this is still in thermal contact. Maybe, maybe it's just this. Ah, oh, where did all this steam come? Oh, eight milligrams. Okay, that's because I'm trying to fix this one here, and we're letting all the gases print, uh, pump in and out. We've lost power though. Lead. Oh no, have we dropped lead somewhere? That would be hilarious. I don't see the liquid lead anywhere. That that would be funny though. Uh, okay, let's uh, let's go ahead and put down some steel wire right here. I feel like that very important. <laughs> I did. Were we were we researching spice grind? I know what the spice grinder's for. Hey, we got some research. The spice grinder was to come over here and make this place. Where, where is it even kept? Spice grinder. This is this is new to me. Never used before. Uh, we'll figure out what it's actually about. Doesn't take any power, but that is what you need to turn this into a proper kitchen. Uh, we'll, we'll we'll show this in a couple of seconds. All right, beautiful spice grinder down. Never used it. I will have to have a look at it and tell you, come back to you guys next time. But a room overlay, that that's a kitchen. Enables the spice grinder use. Is there morale bonus for it? Turns out no, but hey, that's that's still nice to have an extra room. Back to reversalin. It's, it's still like 30 grams. Okay. Okay, we've got just over four kilos of petroleum coming to be delivered here. Turns out I missed the uh, the phase transition of the uh, liquid sulfur here. So we'll just throw some petroleum down and we'll hope that this will actually stay cool enough. Conductive wire temperature is going up. What's the petroleum tech? That's also going up. This, this might be an issue. One that we can solve, but it's still an issue. 110, 150. Where does the... Uh, the the petroleum needs to overheat to I believe it's 500 degrees so actually nothing here is hot enough to cause those sort of troubles it sure is at the top here but we'll do we want to do a silly thing together whilst uh, things are getting better? Let's go ahead and just break this tile open. I've got a feeling that it's actually going to be a bad idea, but I want to I want to let this gas out for starters. But I also want to see yeah what happens here because we've got we've got cooling going. Scalding is of course going to be Rutherford. Hey, you you know what, my friend? Can you? not stand in the boiling hot gases whilst you do the jobs that I've set out for you. Thank you very much. Okay, so that that's pretty good. That's one of the jobs I wanted done. Let's uh, let's expand the, uh, the 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 ports here from which the gas can escape. That should hopefully do very well. All right, Rutherford. Now, if you could please just get on out of here. Do you have the life to make it? You do. You do. You are going to have a bad time all the way down until the wait. Why have you picked up granite? Are you trying to fix this? Let's disable the auto repair. I don't, I don't, I don't want that. Is that, is that what you were doing? No, that wasn't what you were doing. <laughs> oh, I see where you're going. No, 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 no. Come, come and leave, come and leave. So why am I suddenly able to do that again? What have I changed from last time? How about we go ahead and turn the permissions off for these doors that are locked open? Maybe that will do the job? I think I think that will do the job. Uh, anyway, as I was trying to say, this, how has the carbon dioxide got up in there? How has this happened? I was trying to say that I feel like the sulfur will be easier to contain or at least easier to deal with than the... Uh, the 
sour gas, but as I've got so many gases just leaking in there anyway, I'm not sure what I can do about any of it. I'm just going to sit back and watch all these gases escape. In particular, this this sour gas over here. It's it's off on its own. It's doing its thing. We're gonna gonna see this weird. What's what, what's going on here? Wait, wait, wait! Stop! What what are you, what are you doing, Rutherford? What are you doing? He's picking up Igneous Rock. He doesn't have the life for this. If we don't tell him to, to get out of here right now, he's, I mean, he's probably going to die anyway. I, ooh, this is a problem. This is a problem. Go, Rutherford, go. We're going to have to just throw you straight into the bed, I think. That's that's a problem. He's, he already is on, on his way. Uh, the problem is there's Igneous Rock. Oh, the sulfur has pushed out the petroleum straight away. The, the problem is there's Igneous Rock up here, and everyone's like, Oh, I can get that for the for the hatches, and you shouldn't get those this igneous rock for the hatches. If I if I spot anybody coming up here, what's going on here? If I spot anybody coming up here to um to try and do that, I I will, I will do my best to stop them. Oh, we're we're down to micrograms in the doorway. That's nice. That's nice. I like this. Oh, we've got we've got someone out there again. All right, Boar is going for the igneous rock. He's picked it all up here, and now I'm going to tell him to drop it all in the lava. Hopefully, that will get rid of that particular issue. I don't know if there's any more up here, but that's what I've been trying to do with it. Uh, petroleum being dropped. Okay, I'll take that. Yeah, that's 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 good actually. That's good as long as it doesn't flash into. Okay, so we've got 70 degrees, we've got 300 degrees. As long as it doesn't flash into sour gas, it should be a much better idea. Where, where are you going now? I do not like any of this. I'm gonna gonna try and stop him doing it. Uh, no, actually, now, boy, you just you just need to leave. Maybe we can. Uh... There's, there's going to be more igneous rock here, right? Yeah. Maybe, maybe. I mean, he's gonna go just spend some time in bed now. I, I suppose that's kind of the way of things. <laughs> Oh, boy, why, why? What we need to do then is to disable this building. It's on full blast from last time so that Rutherford can come along and grab you from the, the not safe side. As he gets you, we need to look at Rutherford. Look at Boar in Rutherford's in uh, inventory and drop the suit. Okay, there, there we go. That solved the issue whilst also very much suffering from the issue. <laughs> Ah, this is taking far too long. We are down to milligrams over here, as I've been saying, but this is still like seven grams. And look how far the magma has dropped down. We've lost all of this magma to the magma machine. So I think we're running out of time because we need to be able to get this liquid sulfur geyser up and tamed uh, before we run out of magma. Now, I am, of course, pushing up magma from the corners here and doing my best to make sure we have a constant supply. But we need to get Rutherford up and working. And unfortunately, I've, I've done this this all at the wrong time again. I'll, I'll, bring, I'll see you in the morning. Okay, it's amazing that Rutherford is having such a good day. His stress is low. He was sparkle streaking just before he went to bed. That has ended uh, and that, that's going to get worse as time goes on. We're going to deliver this suit over here and before we actually let the, uh, bo no, not Boar. Yeah, that no, was Boar. Come up and uh, try and grab all of the igneous rock. I'm actually just I'm just going to do that and hopefully Rutherford will get on that. If it's not Rutherford, I will try and find Boar. He's... Why aren't we allowed up there? What is stopping us? The passage is allowed through. Let's let's just do the move and see where things go wrong. So we can, we can get to all of these. A nice white um, targeting arrow there. I can't get up here because the the uh, suit is filling up with oxygen. You know what? Okay, I'm fine with that. And now the moment that we are allowed through, Rutherford has taken. Why ranch supply? No, not ranch supply. We, we want you to get up here and build this. Why not? Unreachable build? I disagree. Let's just move Rutherford. Let, let's see if this... Is this, is this going to do it? Are we fine? Why can't we get up there? I don't... I don't quite understand. The fact that we're going to get some igneous rock from there is... Oh, it's granite from there. Okay, that's a little bit different to what I was expecting. Where are you going? What are you doing? Oh, you're doing this corner. Okay, still not what I'm expecting, though. We do have alarms rolling, and you're not, you're not doing the job, and I don't know why. <laughs> Here, here's the problem. We can't get up and past this bit. Okay, let's uh, let's start by putting this down, and seeing if Rutherford will deal with that. 
no, not Rutherford. Who's dealing with it? It's, it's gonna be Boar, but where are you? All right, there, there you are. Supply construction material? No. No, hopefully now Rutherford. Yeah, there we go, there we go. I like the fact that you can overwrite the panic orders with the move, and that will tell your next duplicate to pick it up, right? Yeah, that, that, that should be fine. That should be fine. We've got some hot materials moving in the background there. That's not the best, but it's not the worst either. So I think we will live with it. And now can you continue all your way up? Are you picking up obsidian? This is good. He's starting to complain about it getting toasty up here because it is toasty, but we've got such little gas that I feel like there's not much transfer going on. Of course, the amount of energy in a material is uh, dependent on how much material you've got, of course. Uh, all right, let's see whether we're just... Okay, so, so now that that's going... I'd actually like to carry on digging down here if Rutherford could possibly do it. That that would be great. I'm going to start by setting these at uh, uh, super high priority. Where, where's he going? Where, where, where are you going, buddy? Going to get some materials. Okay, that that's fine. They're going to be warm materials coming straight out of the magma like that. But I think, I think we're fine. Scolding Rutherford. It's good that it's taken so long for that to happen. Probably could have just gone straight underneath but uh you know here, here we are i'm gonna even go as far as cancelling that and just just let's dig on over i think we're not getting any burns at the moment so that's pretty good okay this this is good let's let's just continue our way down like this and hopefully rutherford uh, I, I don't think we'll need that one I, I want to dig much more out if if we can but I also just just want to get started, you know? We, we just need to have a pathway going up and down. The reason that I've chosen this point is obviously this is where, like, the, uh, the, 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 the big concentrations of sulfur are. Let's just get you back on this if we can, Rutherford. If, if we can get that going straight away, that would be much better. I don't like the fact that you stood right in the gas to make it happen, but that's fine. Uh, let's have a look. Okay, we're, we're letting out fair amounts of gas there. Let's get Rutherford back out so he doesn't... There's a dig order? Where are you, where are you going for the dig? Over here. Okay, that, that's fine. And then when Rutherford has done that, we will drop the suit on the floor so people don't come in after the igneous rock. Just like that. Okay, brilliant. Alright, who's scolding now? It's just Rutherford. That, that's fine. That's fine. What's our gas cup intake like? It's four milligrams over here. It's four milligrams across. Well, I think we're about to see something magical happen. Might take some time, though. It's kind of weird that we've lowered the pressure to a consistent three milligrams across, but the uh, the oxygen up here is definitely uh, the oxygen is now spread out to that that thickness as well. Um, so it's 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 all just emptying out. I would have thought it would have been a little bit quicker now that we've got extra ways out. Oh, look at that oxygen go though. That's that's great. That's great. It's a bit weird how the oxygen at the top is coming down to meet the hole, but the carbon dioxide in the bottom left, the uh, the sulfur isn't pulling all up all that high. We've still got a fair amount of pressure compared to the rest of the area down here. You would have thought it'd been fairly even across the way now. I suppose there is a constriction getting down to the bottom left. Okay, at 20 minutes in, I feel like maybe we could do something to get Rutherford making this a little bit faster. Let's deliver the suit and then also try and... I, I want to go, like, this way. I, as much as it makes me sad to get rid of the oxygen here, I feel like this is the only other place we can put a sensible hole. Uh, so if I do something like this, that should actually give us what we want, I hope. It's saying no one can get there now, but just, just you give a moment until this is up and running and hopefully Rutherford will come along and do is it Rutherford yes do what we need to do ah oh, he's only got half life dude what why why haven't you been getting getting your strength back together but ah uh, okay I mean fair enough but this I really would have liked you to gone back into the bed that that's my failing I should have told you to do that uh, I, I suppose we're just gonna make do with what we've got for now thankfully up the top here he's not suffering any heat exhaustion whatsoever and I'm not sure whether the oxygen yeah the oxygen is actually very hot uh, let's not worry about that he can't get up that way I've done this wrong and I, I can see 
what I've done wrong. That that's uh, this is a bit of a bit of an unfortunate situation to find yourself in. But Robertford should be able to deal with it. I hope. Yeah, there, 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 there goes a the ladder. You know what? At that point, we don't even need the the, uh, the other ladder. Uh, thank you for widening that out, but more importantly, thank you for finishing this little job off. I rather we could then go back to to the bed. That might be. Uh, that, that's what that's what we're gonna get him doing. But let's watch all that. I picked up the this rock. I'm, I'm gonna let him take. No, I'm not. I'm gonna make him drop it on this ladder. And the way we're gonna do it is by going, "Hey, could you move?" Uh, it's not the best overlay, but let's say that. Let's uh, uh, to the triage cot, and then because I asked him to move, you can see that the rock got dropped right there. Beautiful, beautiful. And now hopefully we shouldn't have to worry too much about this. Do I want to drop the suit again? We're going to let it get um, filled with oxygen. And then, yeah, I think, I think I'm going to drop the suit again because I don't want them going up there unless I want them going up there. Well, unfortunate that all the oxygen didn't just rush out in a in a great big gushy wind. I really I thought that might be something that happened, but uh, no. Turns out this is not a wide enough tunnel. Maybe I don't, I don't know what the actual problem is, but it's not quite working as I hope. May, maybe the the problem is the fact that it's being drawn between the two tunnels. Isn't that it's not really what's happening? It's trying to spread out at all times, right? And these are places where it can spread out to, so it feels like it's being drawn. Uh, you always got to be careful with your language use, right? Oh man, this is taking such a long time. This is about an hour's worth of recording since like watching most of this drift away. It's it's, oh uh, it it's it's. Ta I don't want to put too many holes in the roof though, because at some point I want to come and reseal this place up and maybe take it back for the good of the colony. And uh, Bessalite is some of the best insulating material that we're ever going to get. And right up here against the edge of space, I do also have to worry about the radiation. I do wonder actually one, two, three. Let's let's have a look at Bessalite. Look at the uh, the radiation. Forty three percent is pretty good. I can put some sixty down. So I mean that is plastic. It's not the best at dealing with the heat. I think I might, as Rutherford has just healed up, think about putting a small access way in here and that should let some more gas out and maybe we'll even have a uh, rocket landing platform here in the future. Uh, to do this though we need to put this back on and we need to make sure it's not doing it. Why is this not doing it? Oh because Boar did it. O okay, fa fair enough, fair enough. Is he going to go and get the ranch materials now? Uh, I'm sorry, I just I don't want you to do that. <laughs> okay, and now while he's walking away to a very, very distant part of the base, we'll get Rutherford to come through and dig a hole. Yeah, yeah, there he goes. Beautiful. Okay, new, new, new hole has been done. Uh, it, this is unreachable, he says. I wonder why he says that. That's... Very, very interesting. He is going to go get the stuff though. Okay, that that that's fine. That's fine. Curie is scolding because we are putting a little bit of a cooling loop in over here. We keep having some some liquids uh, just kind of throw themselves on this super super hot stuff. So we're we're, we're going to try and not let that happen anymore. Okay, and now we've got the gases going through. Beautiful. It got very hectic there. Just just for a moment. It's fine now. Okay, in all but the deepest recesses, we're down to about a milligram or a thousand micrograms as we can see here. We've got two over this side, that's pretty low. What I'm looking to see is that these leading edges start getting down so low that they can't actually support themselves and they don't need to be off-gassing to the vacuum of space. Just the fact that there is not enough volume to contain them uh, will be the their own, their own undoing. They'll try to spread uh, and they'll, they'll spread a pack of one into two halves and the game will be like no 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 we don't do that here and they wipe out the two half packets i think that's what goes on i think that's what goes on but man this this did i did i mention this has taken a while like this oh this is this is a good like three four hour episode you know what? The end of the episode here, as, as we're getting close to, like, we're, we're not there yet. We've got, I want to watch all this gas disappear. Seems like a good time to go, like, episode 52. That's that's a long time of doing this. Like, if we pretend that I kept up every week, that's exactly uh, one week, uh, one year's worth of... Um, of playing this game it's it's a it's a silly game i think i'm not playing it right i think i'm playing it a lot longer than clay intended i'm supposed to have gone and got a bunch of the, the achievements and sent my duplicates through the uh through the tear but i can't 
I, I kind of like just like this long form. Like how how long can we keep these guys going for? It's indefinitely. It's definitely indefinitely. But like the longer you run all these systems that either some people have solved before you or you figured out on your own, uh, the the more you realise that they're they're not they're not really super sustainable. Uh, quite quite a lot of the solutions in this game you you need to keep an eye on quite a, quite quite closely. <laughs> But yeah, if you have been in since the beginning of the series, like, thank you so much for coming along with me. I, I would have posted these videos anyway, but having you guys along for the ride really makes it worth it. We get into the situation now. Rather than watching packets of gas disappear off into this direction, we're starting to see little blobs of uh, vacuum come into the mass of the sulfur. We're still... a uh, Fair way off that becoming the trend rather than the exception, but it's uh, it's it's starting. We're getting there. It's on its way. I think this oxygen over here might be the the pocket at the highest pressure. We got we got nearly a, a whole milligram over here. It what it was a whole milligram. Oh, there, there we go. There we go. It keeps going up and down from one, uh, but it it eventually all this sulfur is going to disappear and it's going to want to spread as well. I'm not sure why it been stuck in that corner it must be like light gases up to the left kind of trend that happens in the game yeah is this going to get stuck in here as well or are they going to make a break for freedom i don't know they're, they're they're not they're not so sure about it are they they want to they want to go back to the warmth of the high pressure area but they've they've gone too far they've dropped down a step now Ooh, the energy needed to get back there very unlikely it's two blocks see Whoa. I want to try building with something cold up here, seeing if it's cold enough to start condensing some of the some of the sulfur onto. Have people not been coming up and trying to get the? Oh, they they have come and got all the ignis rock. Okay, that that's fine. That's fine. So let, let's see what happens when this goes on there. First off, let's have a look at Rutherford and see what 17 degree copper. Okay, 17 degree copper. Hopefully, we're not going to get too hot while sat here. No, we've not. And now things should start condensing on the side of it, or is it just like no, we can't do this? The temperature is coming down. Okay, that's. That's very interesting. Is the temperature going up here? That's 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 kind of the thing I want to know. It's not not going up enough for me to notice. Okay. I'm wondering if we can open a pocket of vacuum inside by by bringing the temperature down. Uh, it will then just fall and make more more liquid sulfur, but it would have opened a pocket and then maybe it would have started eating uh, the sulfur. Well, look, 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 it's going in there. The wall is here. Yes, yes, yes. This is this is good. I noticed when the oxygen was flowing up and into the hole, it would constrict this opening. And ooh, ooh it's happening. Ooh, it's happening. Uh, and that would stop the, the flow of the sulfur, or at least constrict it, slow it down enough that you would start lo uh, gaining bits of vacuum on the inside. And it, it's definitely happening now, because look, this is where the, the wall is, and the vacuum is, is coming back. It's coming back. Okay, look, look, it's happening up there as well. Quick, let's, let's sw switch to this point of view and do that. I'm not sure what, what panic thing has just happened there. I do, I think I know what it is. Someone needs the toilet while they also need to eat and they can't decide which one to do, so they're going to complain about how they're starving, because that's just what the duplicants do, right? Uh, but we are very, very quickly now. Well, I say very quickly. Compared to the uh, hour and 20 minutes I've been watching this so far, very quickly starting to see some encroachment of vacuum. Okay, once it's uh, hit that too many times, there's there's no there's no problems. Breathability, there's no there's no real problems. I don't know why it's trying to cause me to come out of my my view. Why why would you do this? Uh, we got 14 micrograms at the bottom here. Everywhere else seems to be flowing pretty well, pretty well. It's, I reckon when this gets down to to here, we'll start seeing these two try and join up, and then we'll have a, a huge, great big line of vacuum. I'm sure is happening. We got little little stable pockets of vacuum opening up. It's a shame that the sulfur didn't didn't cool down over here. It's kind of what I wanted to see happen, but that 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 that's fine. Different. What just because one plan failed doesn't mean another plan isn't working here. Oh, this this is great. No, I don't think it's gained any temperature at all. That that copper pa panel down there. I mean, you know, let, let's let, let's put down an actual copper temperature shift plate. See what happens then. I'm worried about exchanging temperature with the ladder, but that, that should be fine. Starvation? No, no, no starvation happens here. Don't worry about it. It's just people who can't get to the toilet in time. 
yeah, so the vacuum's doing exactly what I hoped it would do up there. That's that's beautiful. That is beautiful. Now we just need to wait and see when it comes along and attaches to some of the other um, openings. Uh, so you can really see what I was saying about how it's the, the material spreading out uh, rather than it being sucked towards. In this frame, we could even think about the, the vacuum now spreading out rather than the uh, the gas spreading out. God, just look at it spread. Look at it spread. That's a, that's amazing. That is absolutely amazing. We're just going to have little isolated pockets now, I think. But they will also disappear over time. Be interesting to see what's going to happen with the carbon dioxide in the corner. But the, the sulfur, both sides disappearing nicely. We're not even left with a little bit of liquid to have to worry about. It's all just vaporizing off into the vacuum. Man, this surely was a costly mistake, but one that I uh, am glad we paid the price for and overcame. There's just a, a little bit in the in the corner there that's refusing. There we go. It's it's starting to, to roll down now. So I think with that, I am going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you guys next time where we're go not only going to tame the sulfur volcano. I think, I think it's time we made sure that this could never happen again. But also, we're going to go forth and... Uh, Solve all the other issues that exist in the world. Uh, but I will see you then when we're going to do that. Bye. Well, that's not great.